Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video. Guys, we are back on the motorhome. Summer's here now, there's no point leaving it sitting around. We need to get it done, get it turned around and get this one sorted out. So for those of you that have been following this one, I actually bought it on eBay and it has been sat since 2009. I, it's now got an MOT, we bought it with an MOT, but just going through it, we're trying to get this one a real, real sorted, nice, trouble-free motorhome. And although it drives very nice, we don't know when it was last serviced, it didn't come with any history, and when you do get down underneath, the, the subframe's actually lovely, all the chassis legs are lovely in it, but the lower arms are quite, got a lot of surface rust on them, the drop links, you can see the rubbers, are starting to perish. And of course, the brake discs as normal, again, quite rusty as well. We don't know the history on it. We don't know when it's last done. So thankfully, Comline have sponsored today's video and Comline have proper hooked us up. So today we're gonna to be fitting the Comline lower arms, new ball joints. We've got the new link bars there, steering and suspension, new diesel filter, oil filter, air filter, and of course, those much loved for us, coated brake discs, where it's only gonna wear out the part where the pads are pushing on there. Guys, for those of you that don't know who Comline are, so Comline supply like the motor factors, the trade, and then the trade supply us. So you can go to your motor factors and ask for Comline parts. And as usual, we would highly recommend and suggest Comline parts you know, we've been using them across the channel on various builds. Comline also do, quite often, do giveaways on their Facebook page and their social media. So check Comline out. The link's going to be in the description down below, where quite often, where they did do a competition, three of our subscribers actually won a complete service kit for their car. So I want to thank Comline once again for sponsoring today's video. Let's get on with getting some of this fitted to this lovely motorhome. So today we're changing the stabiliser link or anti-roll bar link for a brand new Comline one. Uh, quite a simple job. Two 19 mils, a 19 mil nut on the end of the anti-roll bar itself and a 19 mil nut on the underside, which is that one there. Uh, always a good idea to give it a good liberal spray of penetrant. Let that soak in for a 10 15 minutes will make uh, taking the old one off a lot easier and fitting the new ones simply a reverse of removing the old one the two nuts talked up to the uh, correct torque setting and then we have it Just a little bit of a how-to when removing a track rod end, whether it's to replace it or you're just removing it to, to do other work on the vehicle. Um, it's always a good idea to give the nut a spray up a good 10, 15 minutes before you want to remove it, especially on a vehicle that's stood around as long as this. And then I have soaked this previously, whizz the nut off. And then rather than using, rather than trying to hammer it out there or using any kind of fork or a press type tool, what we always do, because this is on a taper, is simply give that a few hits and out it pops. And that's it. So 
so all of that was uh, quite seized up really plenty of uh, good old WD-40 penetrant on everything the last thing you want is to snap any bolts because you've got a whole heap of pain then drilling and retapping. so anyway that's the lower ball joint removed from the hub or upright and stabiliser link, drop link, anti-roll bar link call it what you like removed from there um, track rod end was only just to enable me to move the leg over a bit and uh, get a bit, bit better access really and so now it's on to the main mounting bolts for the lower wishbone which from experience are always quite hard to get undone um, so I'm going to probably be hanging off of those with a bar and a pole but we'll see, I have sprayed them up give them, give them half a chance um, and that's the last bit I think to remove and then it's a process of rebuilding it back up with the new parts but uh, Rob will probably be back by then but we'll see, we'll see how this bit goes anyway So that's everything removed this side, um, the stabiliser drop link proved to be the bush on the end of the anti-roll bar did prove to be a bit seized on there so I ended up, probably saw it on the time lapse, running the slitting disc three quarters of the way through it, you can see that and then I've got the Stilsons on it and managed to spin it off. It doesn't actually turn on the end of the anti-roll bar. Um, it actually just flexes in the rubber bush. So you don't really want to damage the end, but if you do, it's it's no no big drama really, because that's just uh, pinched up with the nut on the end, and as I say, doesn't ever turn on there. So it's a case of uh, get the new bits out and build it back up now. Well, Chris done really, really well there, guys. I literally just popped out to go and sit down the beach for a couple of hours and catch the sun. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just went and picked up some parts for one of our latest projects, which is going to be an upcoming video. Going to be very, very interesting. Lovely. We've got everything there. You can see he's got the ball joint fitted, the lower arms in there, the drop links in there. None of it's quite done up yet. I think because... These lower arms, they're quite tight with the drop link on there and getting the ball joint in. So Chris has probably placed it all there, put the bolts in, and he'll get all the bolts in place and then actually go round and nip them all up. Would that be right, mate? Is that what you're up to? That's exactly what he's up to. So what we're going to finish this side. Well, Chris is going to finish it. And we probably won't show the other side, will we? It's repetitive. But it's going to be exactly the same again. And then we'll move on to some more mechanical side of it. Let's do it. Go. nice peace of mind new lower arm new discs new pads new drop links on there it's all done the track rod ends chris said i've got no play in them at all so they're fine and he's just coming towards the finish now on this side just bolting the lower arm up and that new drop link there and this is all of the old bits off of it and i think you would agree they they definitely wanted doing you can clearly see that there is perished 
the ball joint is uh, let's cut that out a bit. That's got that's, that's actually got a fair bit of play in that. Shouldn't be that loose, should it? And the back one again, you can see there is some perishing, and the discs, although they've come back from being sat around for a while, and you probably could have got away with them, we've got them here, so they've been changed. These these were both seized on. Chris Hatcher actually put the slitting disc through them and get a pair of Stilsons on them and get those removed. But, yeah, it's definitely going to be a well-sorted motorhome once it is all back together. And that's that side complete now, guys. So we're now going to move on to the very, very important part, probably the most important part of obviously doing jobs like this, and that is a proper in-depth full service so we're going to be doing the oil oil filter air filter fuel filter and most importantly cam belt and tensioners now the cam belt on this one you can see it's not as bad as the last one we done but you can see there there's no more writing on it and it hasn't been changed so for a peace of mind we're going to do that i haven't removed that top cover either that was actually missing so there is a tiny piece of the cam belt cover missing we're going to need to order one of them up and get that covered up because you want to try and keep the weather out of that so to speak any water that's dripping in there or splashing up from the road you don't want it going all over the cam belt that's the last thing you want so also i was standing here earlier and i've started picking this off somebody's put this silver paint on this bracket and that's going to want taking off, cleaning up, and actually painting black. We want this to not only look nice, but be really nice. So let's get on with the service. I know we had quite a bit of trouble last time with that lower bolt in that pulley. So got our fingers crossed today that it's not going to be as hard as the last time. Right, let's get the rest of that cam belt cover undone. no way around this or no way to glorify it guys you can see the mess on the floor it has been a nightmare probably one of the hardest cam belts i've ever had to do probably down to the fact that just as i was taking the belt off i spun the water pump and that's no good is it that's definitely toast so to get this off you've got the four bolts in there but to get to those four bolts first you need to remove that you can only wind two of them out until they hit the actual pulley itself so i had to get the pulley off then you've got one hiding down there and right on the back you've got like a water pipe running across the back of the engine and it's actually on these two here so it was quite tight to get behind there and then the hardest part of all was actually the alternator bracket bolts here so i had to remove the alternator bracket but you can now see down in there i've had to remove that the water pumps off everything's out the way i'm going to go around to the motor factors grab this water pump and it's actually got quite late in the day so we're gonna to have to come back in the morning so from start to finish with this cam belt kit of course i'd never moan about it guys but it has been awful it's been so difficult to do where it's been left for so long just everything was so tight and it's all awkward i wasn't sure whether bolts were going to undo and then of course we had that problem with the water pump you can now see just there the water pump actually bolts through the engine mount which is incredible so that bolts onto the side of the engine and then your engine mount is bolted into these three bolts at the top here. And it was a nightmare. Even getting the pulley off of the water pump was difficult. There's just not enough room in there to do it. So that was a, a pain in itself. Anyway, finally got it on. There's the old belt. There's the old pump. The new belt is on there. 
new pump, all new idlers, new tensioner. So we are good. Now, I've just put the bottom pulley back on. I need to put, I've put the bolts back in the cover. I need to do those up and I've just put the fan belt on there, but I do need Chris to hold a 13 mil spanner one side of it. Why I actually wind the 13 mil nut on the back only because it's running freely. Um, the top cover for the belt, so the cam cover, and it's including the cam belt cover, that little top piece is missing. And the bottom cover, as you can see, a little piece here, tiny little join in it there and there has actually snapped as well. I would get away with bolting that on there and I probably will bolt it on there just for a moment. Number one, to put the bolt in the hole and number two, to protect it until we can source a new cover for it. So new fan belt, new cam belt, etc., etc. It is all on there. What I'll probably do, Chris is busy at the minute. He's just doing something indoors. I'll probably get on and do the oil and filter until he comes out. And then we get that alternator nipped up and then we can hopefully fire this up. I did lose all of the water, obviously out of the water pump, but I managed to catch 99% of it. And I've run it for a filter and I've recycled that and put the same coolant back in the tank. So it's gonna need topping up to maximum, but I think we probably lost about half a litre, if that. But yeah, not been, not been a very nice job to do, that cam belt. Very, very tight in there, very awkward. And most importantly of all, probably down to the fact that it's been so long since it's been touched. Honest, mate, while you was in there sorting that video out, I had a right old whinge about this, on camera and all. Did you? No, not really a whinge, but how difficult that's been. Oh, yeah. And even you said that engine mount water pump, stupid idea. Yeah, it's crazy. Isn't crazy it? idea. Right, I've given Chris the keys, the wheels back on it, all the cases are back on it. Fire in the hole, hopefully. Yeah, can you leave it running, Chris? I need to get the oil warm. Is it not? Ready? Yeah. Well, that's, that's a relief. We'll let that warm up, just to get the oil hot. It's quite hot anyway out, but we'll let the oil get really thin and then uh, drain it out, change the oil filter, air filter, and away we go. But you can see the nice new cam belt spinning around now. And it's going to be a nice piece of mind for someone, isn't it, that it's all been done? Because how long ago was it done on this vehicle? Who knows? That water pump's original, isn't it? That water pump, I know people are getting bored of hearing it, but definitely has been a water pump far too long. Certainly. air filtering guys and as I lifted the lid off well that's exactly what I've done I lifted it off the air filter wasn't clipped shut it was open um, oil drain plug was a little bit tight again we don't know when that was last taken out so I've managed to get that out the oil's just draining down there now I'm going to move on get the filter off get the filter swapped over and get the new oil in it let's carry on going in the heat guys but eventually I did get there with it so new cam belt new fan belt new water pump new oil filter diesel filter air filter we've gone right through it and now mechanically it's absolutely spot on we've got those com line coated discs pads new lower arms new drop links I should think when you drive that it's going to be 
very, very tight and feel nice and smooth to drive. So that is it, I think. The next job is gonna be nailing that inside and it will be ready to use, apart from the little bit of paint on the front bumper. But is that gonna stop it from being used? I don't think so. Well, what a day, guys. In fact, it's been pretty busy for the last week, non-stop. Got some cracking upcoming content. I ain't quite sure what way we're gonna put this around, but it may even come before this, it may come after this. So it's gonna be a bit of play it by ear, but definitely had enough of today and can't wait to jump in a nice cold shower. So that is gonna be the end of today's video. Don't forget, Comline's link is in the description down below. Follow them guys over on their social medias. Show the love. Thank you all very, very much for watching. Like, subscribe and share, and we'll see you all very, very soon in the next one.